Hi everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to me being more consistent on YouTube. Now this is a lifestyle based channel and I do a lot of videos on outfits for evening wear, for maybe party wear, just casual wear. So I thought I'll just run you through the outfits that I wore in Spain and some of the outfits or most of the outfits are from homegrown Indian labels and some of them are from high street brands. What do you want? I do love you. Sit down. Okay, I'm gonna quickly run you through without making this video too long. The day we were traveling from Muscat to Madrid, we had a layover in Abu Dhabi. So my entire flight was about eight to nine hours and I did not want to wear anything that was super tight or anything on my waist that was tight. So while traveling, I do make it a point to wear extremely loose or oversized or comfortable clothing. And for my uh, flight from Muscat to Madrid, I was wearing this uh, linen cohort set you must have seen this set so many times on my videos and uh, this is super comfortable it's oversized and the uh, bottoms also on it have an elastic waist which makes it very comfortable and since the flight was so long i do have a tendency to bloat on long distance flight or even when i'm traveling by a train or a car if i'm sitting for a longer period of time my water retention increases and I do bloat and so I do make it a point to always wear comfortable clothes. So for my flight I was wearing this coat set then we landed in Madrid and we landed at about 8.30 in the morning, uh, did our immigration, collected everything and by 11 we were out and it was raining and I did not anticipate that Spain would be so cold but uh, anyways the thing is that while booking my hotel I booked all my hotels via booking.com and for this hotel, I got a free pickup from the airport to the hotel. It was included in my stay. So all we had to do was just locate our taxi driver. So it did not mean that we have to roam around in the cold looking for public commute or looking for a bus or a taxi to the hotel. So that made it quite easy. And we reached our hotel at about 12, 12.30. We checked in, rested for a while and uh, were ready to go out. And now for the first day in Madrid, I wanted to wear something else but considering the amount of bloating there was in my body I just could not wear any trousers I could not wear any well fitted dress the only option I had left was uh, oversized dresses and fortunately I do wear a lot of oversized clothing that, so that came as a lot of help and the dress that I wore was this um, silk dress again i know not a very good choice for cold weather but this is this was a, a royal blue color silk dress it's by a brand wear artisu and it's a sleeveless dress but it comes in a bias cut it is fitted from the waist but then it flows down into an a shape and gives you a lot of volume it's completely lined and uh, the thing was that it was cold so i wanted to layer it with a coat or a jacket I was carrying uh, one coat and one jacket but not a very heavy quilted jacket or a very heavy quilted coat. It was a 100% merino wool coat and a very lightweight, very lightly quilted jacket because that is what I had assumed that the weather might be in Spain. The visit to the royal palace that was on the first day in Madrid, I wore this blue uh, dress with this uh, merino wool coat. Now the coat is uh, by a brand Kilchu. It's a Czech pattern coat and it has wine and blue color square details on it. I absolutely love the color pattern on it and I feel like the Czech details on it makes it stand out and makes it a very unique uh, piece. And this became a <laughs> outfit of a geometric pattern layered over geometric pattern. So I was wearing a striped dress and layered under a checked coat and for footwear I was just carrying two pairs a pair of sneaker and a pair of flats generally when we are traveling we do end up walking a lot so carrying a pair of heels does not make sense to me I prefer uh, footwear that is much more comfortable footwear in which you can walk for kilometers and it won't hurt your feet so my plan was to basically wear the sneakers with everything but since on the first day I was a bit bloated and I just could not wear the sneakers I decided to wear the flats so I was just wearing this dress with the coat and the flat and I was carrying just one bag for the entire trip I didn't want it to overpack and I paired that uh, coach bag of mine with all the outfits so that was my first outfit for Madrid. On the second day, we were visiting the Banabao Stadium. I might be pronouncing it 
uh, wrong. But that was on my husband's wish list, even though he's not a Real Madrid fan, he's a Liverpool fan, but he did want to visit that stadium. And I had booked it for around um, 12.30 and I assumed that they might allow us to enter the stadium by maybe say 11.45 or something because the same day we had also planned to visit Toledo but uh, the security did not allow us to go inside the stadium before uh, 12 o'clock. Anyways, if you do need more uh, tips or the experience that I had in Spain or uh, any travel tips you would like to know while booking a trip to Spain, just do let me know in the comment section. I would love to make another video, another detailed video on the mistakes that I made while booking my trip to Spain. Okay, coming back to the outfit, I was wearing a lemon green dress. The dress is by Zara and again it was cold so I had to layer it with a jacket and I had this really beautiful patch printed silk jacket by Ritu Kumar. You must have seen the jacket on my channel before and I decided to wear that jacket with the dress. Now it is not a jacket that provides you a lot of warmth but it still was able to protect me from the winds and the thing was that when I was in the sun I wasn't feeling that cold and it was only if you are in a shade in if, sorry if you are in an area that is shaded or if it is cloudy then it gets a bit more colder and while visiting the museum inside and visiting the places where they had stored all the trophies of Real Madrid the entire museum is temperature controlled so you don't feel any cold it is just while when you actually are in the stadium itself where the spectators are where the spectators are seated that is where you would feel slightly cold but then the excitement was so much to visit that stadium I guess I just didn't feel any cold and we were done from there by around 2 to 30 in the afternoon and that is when we wanted to go to Toledo but we couldn't I'll probably explain it to you why it didn't happen in some other video but uh, that was my outfit for day number two now day number three was when we were visiting Toledo and since Toledo is situated on a mountain top and the weather stated that it is going to be a very clear sunny day I had anticipated that it might get hot during the day so I decided to wear another silk dress of mine I was carrying a lot of handloom and a lot of silk dresses and this was and this was a red color striped silk dress again a bias cut dress again sleeveless it is from the same brand wear Artisu and I layered it with the same Kilju coat. Now the red color of the dress paired very well with the red and blue of the coat. I uh, happened to remove the coat during the day because it got pretty hot but uh, it, it made for a very comfortable dress and I was wearing sneakers on that day because I knew I would be walking for a long distance and it doesn't make sense to wear flats or heels. So that was my outfit for day number three in Madrid. So we were for three days in Madrid and uh, the next day we left from Madrid to Granada. So we visited two cities in the north of Spain and two in the south of Spain. For Granada, uh, the, we had to take a high speed train and it takes about five to six hours to reach Granada. Again, since I had to be seated for a very long time, loose clothing and oversized and comfortable clothing was my priority. And I was wearing this black cotton mulmul dress. It is by um, Indigo Dreams. It's a beautiful dress. It has Jamdani work on it. And on that day in the night, we had a booking for the Alhambra. Now the thing is Granada again was cold. I had not anticipated that it would be so cold. But um, I did manage to layer two jackets with it because during the day, one jacket was more than enough. In fact, when the sun came out, it did become a bit hot and I had to remove it. But once the sun went down and it started to drizzle a bit, I ended up wearing two jackets. I was wearing a green color mango jacket and then I wore the Ritu Kumar lightly quilted patchwork jacket over it. And uh, it happened to make for a pretty decent outfit even though I was wearing two jackets. But um, anyway, it did the job. It protected me from the cold and I also didn't make a fool of myself wearing two jackets. But it was cold because my booking for the Alhambra was at 10.30 in the night because I just couldn't manage to get any other time slot. Again, if you need tips, please let me know. I, I'll be more than happy to make a separate video on the mistakes that I did for Spain. Okay, so that was my first day in Granada. And the second day we were traveling from Granada to Malaga. It is about just 40-45 minutes from train. The weather stated that it's going to be a clear sunny day. 
and uh, I thought that since we are going there during the daytime and we are coming back to Granada by 8, 8.30 in the evening, probably a lightweight blazer should be more than enough because it got sunny early in the morning and then when it does get sunny in Europe, it gets hot pretty early. And uh, that was the case because Malaga turned out to be very, very hot during the day. I was wearing this pin-striped uh, jumpsuit. It's from Mango and I happened to pair it with a linen uh, blazer. Now, this linen blazer is such a staple in my wardrobe. I end up wearing it with so many pieces. It's a basic beige blazer and I feel like it makes for an elevated basic. You can wear it with dresses, you can wear it with coat sets, you can wear it with a t-shirt or a short or over a jeans and it absolutely just elevates any outfit. And for this pinstripe jump some suit, <clears throat> Honestly, the plan was not to wear the jacket, but sorry, the blazer, but I just carried it just in case if I felt a bit cold, it should be more than enough because the weather said that there is clear sunny day and uh, it turned out to be pretty hot during, during the day. Uh, we were literally sweating walking through the streets of Malaga and I couldn't wear the blazer for long. So I just took it off and tied it around my neck or on my waist. And um, it's only in the evening that I had to wear it again and uh, I was wearing sneakers with the jumpsuit because again we were walking throughout the day and a pair of good comfortable sneakers makes much more sense. So that was my outfit for Malaga. In Granada we had a booking for Alhambra, the next day we went to Malaga and for day number two we had planned to again hike through the area around Alhambra and for that day I decided to wear that green Zara dress. It was super comfortable so I thought I will be comfortable throughout the day. I did not wear it with the Ritu Kumar jacket because uh, it was getting slowly slowly it was getting a bit hotter during the day and I just didn't want it to carry around a heavy jacket uh, without wearing it. So I wore the same beige blazer, I don't want to play. So I wore the same beige blazer with that dress. As I said, the beige blazer makes for such a capsule wardrobe. You can wear it with so many different things and it makes for a perfect combination and it just elevates all your outfit. Similarly with this lemon green outfit, it looked good with the Ritu Kumar jacket also and it looked good with the beige blazer also. So it was a combination of solid on solid. The earlier one was a print on solid. So the next city on our list was Seville. And we were traveling from Granada to Seville by train, again temperature control, so you really don't have to worry about feeling cold. Now for Seville, uh, I think uh, I wore the quad set again, yes, I wore the uh, Kilchu quad set again because I wasn't really feeling too well while traveling from Granada to Seville and I just wanted to stay comfortable throughout the day. And that day we also went from Seville to Cordoba, again just 40-45 minutes by train and that was my outfit, a very comfortable linen outfit for Cordoba and uh, I think I was carrying the same blazer with me just in case if I ended up feeling a bit cold I had something to cover me up. That was day number one in Seville and Cordoba and the next day uh, the day number two in Seville we just wanted to explore the Alcazar and just go around in Seville only and for that day I was wearing a basic black t-shirt and a black skirt. So a skirt is basically a short that looks like a skirt in front. Now that skirt has an as asymmetrical hemline, it's black in color, solid black and I was just wearing an entire black outfit and then again the beige blazer over it something that just elevates all the outfits. So this one blazer worked for me in creating so many different outfits. And that is how I really do like to plan my wardrobe. Get some pieces that will um, layer with everything that will create so many outfits for you. Next, we went from Seville to Barcelona. We came back up again to North because we were supposed to take a flight back to Muscat from Barcelona and we were in Barcelona for four days. The weather got a bit better and I really didn't need it to worry about layering the jackets. It did start getting hotter and hotter day by day and for my first day in Barcelona, I decided to wear these really loose um, flared pants by a brand known as Chola. I'm not sure if it is Chola or Chola, how do you pronounce it? But this brand has been on my wish list for a very, very long time. And uh, 
what I really love about the brand is that uh, they have really eccentric pieces, pieces that have volume on it, pieces that have cuts and layers that are so different and it completely stands out from other Indian labels. Now the first time I had noticed this brand was on Neha Dhupia. She wears Chola, the label, a lot and I personally do love her style a lot. And this was, so this quad set, it's a jacket and a pant was on my wish list for a very long time. And uh, this year I thought I'll just give it a shot and try on one piece from them and see if I do like their fitting and everything. So I didn't happen to wear the jacket. It is a, a quilted sleeveless jacket. I just wore the pants separately. So day number two, I was wearing this really pretty dress by a studio known as Scott Studio. It's again an Indian label and it's a beautiful dress. It's a short dress. And now the thing is that I really don't feel that cold on my legs. Even if my legs are bare and it's slightly cold, I do enjoy the cold wind circulating around my legs. I love it. But when it comes to my upper body, I need to cover it up to get some warmth. And this, uh, this dress is a backless dress. And even though it wasn't raining that day in Barcelona, but it was a bit cloudy and a bit windy. So I decided to wear the blazer over it. Since it's a beige blazer and the dress in itself is also beige with a very beautiful landscape printed pattern over it. I think it worked as a combination. And for sneakers, I was wearing the new shoes, the new Asics that I bought from the La Roca village. And I think the red shoes kind of added a pop of color to the entire outfit. So that was my day number two in Barcelona. And for day number three, we were visiting a village. So uh, it involved a lot of walking. I knew that I would be walking for the entire day. So I had to wear the shoes and uh, I was wearing the same pants by Chola label. Uh, the pants are very flared, but they're not very long. So it wasn't uncomfortable to wear very long pants. Otherwise, sometimes with flared pants that have a lot of volume in it, it becomes difficult to walk long distance because you feel like the pants keep going under your shoes. But um, these were perfect length for me. It cut me right at the ankle and then I was wearing the sneakers. So it didn't go under my shoes. It was very comfortable. And I was just wearing a black sleeveless basic top with it and the Adidas jacket just in case if I felt cold, at least I have something to cover up. So that is a breakup of all the outfits that I ended up wearing in Spain. And if you ask me to point out my favorite one, I guess that would be the Court Studio. I love the dress from Court Studio. I love the cut of it and I absolutely love the landscape print on it. It just is so unique and it makes the dress stand out from all the other dresses that I have in my wardrobe. So that is it for the video today and I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye.